What's up everyone? Welcome to Profit Data. So today exactly I'm going to talk about this Fin Nifty. Okay. So as you know, we are trading Nifty 50, Bank Nifty. Okay. So we are utilizing, uh, I mean, I've been already done a lot of videos trading Bank Nifty. Okay. And uh, even uh, I do trade in Nifty 50 as well. Okay. Uh, but mostly I go with the Bank Nifty. Okay. But in this trend, uh, the Fin Nifty is also coming into a bigger picture and as per the trend it is going well okay so i must say that i should introduce you to the fin nifty part as well okay so it categorized same in the section of uh, our option chain and especially it has a, in if you visit to the nsc website it has a particular place as in uh, fin nifty i mean if you refer to the spot it will be nifty fin service okay so i'm gonna talk about uh, like you know how you can uh, you know take out the required values for the fin nifty for trading in options okay particularly we require the trading symbol okay and to face the trading symbol in between you know whatever the things to be required to be faced and then particularly we reach the point okay so to reach all those things we need to go certain things which we gonna refer and i'm gonna utilize here in this is zero the kite connect api uh, especially uh, the api which is free of cost okay so i'm gonna well, okay we will definitely required a pandas okay so we will say pandas as pd okay so you can utilize the request module as well okay you can uh, you know utilize other format as well to read but this is like you know one of the easiest stuff which you are exactly reading the url okay which is very much possible through pandas okay so i must say i'm gonna say talk about this data so i will say this read this fin nifty uh, in a csv format which will be in a uh, data format itself okay so what we what the url is you already know okay i've been already utilized in many of my videos api.kite.trade slash instruments okay and you don't need to pay any cost to Zerodha for this purpose okay and if you uh, don't have an account with Zerodha you can just uh, visit the link or any uh, you know if you want to open an allies blue or files you can open the account and still you can utilize this url okay uh, selection if your atm strike prices according to the uh, format okay so whatever formats are there just uh, take a look and if it satisfies this format, just utilize in your uh, selection of trading symbol of strike prices. So whatever it, it will be helpful. Okay, so this is the best. So go for these things. And other, if you visit to the other API, which is free of cost, they're definitely gonna provide the CSV format, like, you know, especially the instruments part, where exactly what is the lot size, what is the tick size, expiry, uh, quantity. So as in, as per the information, this is, free of cost okay so this is information okay this kind of a static will be there not a dynamic okay and by the month end they will like you know uh, like you know if you're getting into next month they fulfill each and everything so if you visit it will be like you know updated it will be an updated format okay so you can utilize in your dynamic programming as well okay so i'm gonna read these things and uh, to make it uh, in an easy in a good manner i'm gonna definitely convert into in an html table okay so you already know it is it is in this format so i'm gonna say html and what i have to say uh, the fin nifty part i will say fin dot html okay so all the things which is i uh, will be saved in html and it will be in a uh, readable format okay if, if i'm not doing any mistakes i will definitely get a table Okay, so from the browser point of view and table point of view, it will be easy to refer and to do whatever I'm looking for. Okay. And I will definitely gonna receive in this folder. So let's just check this stuff. Okay, so I got these files. So I will open them. And uh, as you know, this uh, file format it is uh, as you can see uh, the uh, the size is already in a good manner so you need to check whatever the size you are utilizing okay and uh, so it is a pretty much when exactly you are trying to search something it will be like you know 
are kind of a hectic if you are not aware to the trading part especially the option trading part okay and if you are trading if you are already trading it will be very much easy to like you know recognize or search any kind of a things okay so if you are experienced trader in these things okay you can uh, like you know search and uh, you can look for your files okay so um, i just have to like uh, i think i already took the part so i will open once again okay so it should not get crashed once again so as you can see it is voluminous okay so to get our required results it will be very much easy as i already told you if you know the uh, you know trading part if you are already in a trading you can recognize what i am doing and it will be easy to fetch now what happens i required a particular fin nifty part so as you can see there are real number of symbols will be there okay even your symbols contains options data even in that also there will be like you know strike price and different uh, tick size and different lot size will be there so particularly if i look for fin nifty so what if say say if i if i choose like uh, in this way so suppose if i get in these things and uh, if i search for fin nifty okay so if I, if i have to say uh, fin nifty part so this is how i can recognize so as you can see it is getting a little bit fin nifty okay so as you can see this is this is the fin nifty which i am talking about so if i get in this part so our name of uh, whatever cp will be there will be in a name segment which will be in a fin nifty okay so as you can see uh, the quantity will be there the strike prices will be there okay the tick size will be there according to the teacher and everything will be there so uh, so from this what we can say is like if we get to this name part this a special expiry part and this strike price we can easily fetch our required output okay so this is how we need to go so as we as we try to find it out through our html table so i just put it some search and then i got certain parts so this is how you gonna filter and a number of columns will be there which you gonna format okay so first of all we'll check with the quantity part okay so uh, which i'm gonna say i will do it in an easy format so if i have to like you know say about the quantity you know so i think i have been already fetch the fin nifty part so i'm going to search from the name okay and what are the main things which is uh, which i think it is in starting itself it is there okay so i will refresh this things and i will show you so in in column column is very much important in this things okay so as you can see instrument token exchange order token trading symbol name so all of the things is very much important okay so from this column i am going to recognize other things so from name i'm got i got fin nifty and as you can see uh, you know uh, lot size will be there so as you can see lot size i need to fetch the lot size for the quantity purpose okay so whatever the lot size will be there single lot size which i'm going to multiply it and can trade a uh, which are required a lot size okay so if i have to say then i have to like you know get in this uh, search part i mean i'm going to definitely going to utilize uh, so instead of uh, this this main format i'm going to utilize for n number of things so i will say fin nifty okay so from i will search from the uh, name part okay so what i have to say the data of the data which i will say in the name category and in name category what is my uh, which i think uh, will be uh, in a string format so i'm going to fetch these things and uh, what i'm searching exactly in this fin nifty i definitely require this uh, the quantity so i have to say fin nifty of quantity so i am fetching it fin nifty of quantity i required which is of position if i say just one thing is enough so location if i say whatever i got location if i say zero i can fetch this stuff easily size please make it lot size So that is uh, that's the reason it is empty. Okay, 
and to handle this uh, data it should be in a data format so that's the reason i'm reading in a csv format okay so we got our uh, you know lot size so this is how the search and some of uh, the uh, the sorting i mean especially i must say that searching and uh, locating the part is done okay so it, this is a simple format which need to follow so right now whatever the uh, steps is required for these things as we got the fin nifty so it is sorted as of right now only fin nifty part will be there where exactly like i fetch quantity and i got the quantity which is 40 rupees now what i have to say um, i have to like you know some of the sorting part which i need to get that i got fin nifty but to get the correct atm strike prices of right now i am not trading the next expiry i am trading the current expiry to get the current expiry i need to fetch that part okay so what i have to say is like whatever the expiry i got okay in fin nifty okay uh, i have to sort according to the the expiry so if i got the value and it i have to say expiry so it will particularly fetch the uh, you know current expiry for me and i can fetch that expiry and i can locate okay so here uh the things will be like that so if i have if i particularly uh got this expiry and uh, lock location of the particular uh, expiry okay so this is how if the location if i fetch i'll get this so it, uh, this is the expiry so as you can see the current expiry is uh if i open option change to validate you can check with the option change data so 28 february so that's that's what expiry is getting right now and i can choose expiry of expiry which will be correctly fetch what i'm looking for so this is our right expiry okay so this is done this is this expiry to choose our atm which is required ltp and uh, the price which i am looking for so if i have to say expiry of a uh, strike okay so i think you know that strike of is 17941 i mean the ltp is running as of 949 941 or something like that okay so we va validate to 950 okay so that will be our strike price 950 double zero will do it so this is i mean whatever the ltp will be there just give it to them and round it off to plus 50 whatever near values okay so it will be good to go so if i got the strike price and uh, that strike uh, will definitely gonna give me uh, n number of uh, uh, trading symbol And this is the way you should go step by step and in between if you can try other way as well okay but i prefer this way and uh, so suppose if i get the trading symbol and that is also need to be sorted okay and uh, that should be in a uh, because i'm say suppose if i got in a search now what happens say pc is included here and uh, i required to be c first then p so this is how need to be sorted okay and other things are there which should not come in part okay so now as i can see if i get to the location is in p c so in here also if i fetch that if i required uh see this is of uh, a trading symbol which i am looking for see if i location if if i say my location is at 1 so it will fetch a p for me so this is how you can also so already sorted if you fetch is in uh, this one location so it will be c and if you say zero it it will fetch you p so that is how you can select the cp so according to that if you can put a if statement and it will like you know give it which way you are looking for okay so this is how the format can be there 
okay so this is usually it will goes so uh, if you get to the expiry and uh, it is how you can uh, try to uh, format in this also you can sort i mean if you choose uh, specially the correct i mean location with the cp as in c comes first then p so that is also you can do so if i say strike and uh, i can sort values and what are the names i can include that should be of expiry first thing is expiry is important for me and then second for me is a trading symbol so this is also you can put okay uh, so 